Hi guys. Up. If you didn't watch the last video, we just got back from being in the woods for three days with no service. We are entirely out of water. My fridge is empty and Rue is almost out of gas. And there's trash everywhere. So safe to say we have a lot of errands to run today. Right, bub? I just realized I forgot water. <laughs> I'm so excited they had Olipop. It's been way too long. There has not been an Olipop root beer on the channel in way too long. I haven't had one of these in months. It's been sold out everywhere. <laughs> Perfect for an errand day. All right. Let me go stop at a gas station and try to get water because I forgot it at Walmart and I don't feel like going all the way back in. Blue and I had a very long walk this morning and dude has been passed out ever since. He's like, <laughs> that took everything out of me. It was only like an hour walk too. I don't know why you're so tired, kid. Oh! Holy Pepper Ruby is my favorite! <laughs> I love it so much it makes me angry. Be right back. Six sixty three. I said, I don't want it back. I don't know what right now. This is her. Her dad upstairs and another bedroom. Turn it into a den. Thank you. Thank you. Really yeah, you too. Breakfast to champions. UP pasty. Four thirty, and I haven't eaten yet. Oh, crap. I'm a mess. Hi, bud. Her last day in the UP, last day of UP tradition. Very nice. Ooh. This pasty looks extra good. All right. We gotta get to camp. Please don't be angry with me. I'm 
still stuck in fourth gear. Honestly, I should put a bumper sticker on rear that says, I only have gears one through four, please be nice to me. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm slow. Wow. This is like the best pasty I've had maybe ever. Holy cow. There's all of those energy that I was looking for earlier when you were sleeping. I swear nothing feels better than getting to camp and having food, water, and all your supplies. And just knowing you don't need anything for a few days. Top tier feeling. Right, we actually don't have too much time before the sun goes down. The sun has been setting super freaking early. Um... I think it's because we're on like the westernmost point of the eastern standard time zone. Sun is like kind of setting more around an hour-ish early. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. Anyways. Uh, we don't have much time before sun goes down and we gotta wear this dude out. I also have a Super Roamers Live I have to do tonight. So when I get back to the video, it's probably gonna be dark. Wow! Holy cow! Bubby, we gotta get ready for the live. Oh, okay. Holy cow. That is one fast dog. Zoom. Say hi to the vlog, everybody. <laughs> Tammy, Eric, Paige, Tim, Orange Mushrooms, Mike. Oh, Tammy, you're sweet. Keith. Keith is in the UK. What time is it for you right now, Keith? Two in the morning? Well, it's 2 a.m. here. Where did the night go, Bob? It's practically morning. Bubby, look at your little toes hanging off. Are you ready for bed, kid? Tomorrow I think I need to do the thing where I take everything out of Rue and like shake it all off and put it back in because we seem to be getting a co extra collection of blue hair recently that I'm not the fondest of. Okay, Blue. I love you. Thank you. That was very nice. Thanks. It was very thoughtful of you. Also, speaking of tomorrow, I think I might end up being a little bit cranky if you will so stay tuned for the next video because that's gonna be really fun dealing with me tomorrow which for you guys will be like two days after or something like that but anyways it's um 3 26 in the morning and i'm such a night owl oh i'm such a night owl that it's become a problem recently this is my ratchet strap. Anyway. <gasps> what was I saying? I think, Bubby. I'm such a night owl, it's become a problem recently. Because this is what I do, I stay up all night long. And then I start sleeping in later to overcompensate. And then that's not good because the sun has been setting earlier since we're getting into winter season and um it's just gonna be a bad snowball where blue and i don't have enough time out of the car to exercise blue to just stretch our legs not be inside of a car 24 7 if you know what i mean so tonight is the night i'm fixing my sleep schedule so i'm just gonna stay up as late as i normally do which is about four in the morning as of late 
which is fun. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to wake up when the sun rises at like 7.38. So I'm going to be on like three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep tomorrow. Should be fun. Oh, I didn't want an Olipop. I wanted a water. I'm just the kind of person that has to force myself into things. I don't know if you've noticed this trait about me, if you watch my videos a lot, but I just, it's like I have to fight for future me because I know present Maria is going to put up a fight and be really, uh, or wait, no, I have this backwards. I have this backwards. Present Maria has to fight for future Maria because I know future Maria is going to be lazy and she's not going to feel like doing stuff and she's not going to want to plan. So, like, I have to actively fight against that and, like, force myself to get ahead of stuff because I'm my own worst enemy, you know? I feel like that sounds worse than I meant it, but I think you know what I mean. Like, I know I won't be able to slowly get back onto a sleep schedule that works for me. Like, I know I won't be able to just go to bed early one night and get extra sleep to fix my sleep schedule. I know I'm going to have to force myself to wake up and fix it the hard way. That's what it is. It's just, I'm very, I have to do things the hard way. It's like this common theme in my life. I always have to find out the hard way. I always have to figure it out the hard way. It's just who I am. Hard-headed, I guess. Whatever. It works. I self-manage myself, so. Dang, Blue, you got this sleeping bag pushed all over the place. What were you doing back here? This isn't even on the bed, silly. Ooh, I just spilled water all over my sleeping bag. Lovely. I'm currently in Blue's little nook and cranny of the car. Blue's on my platform. But I'm not complaining, honestly. I don't know what it has been about Blue the last couple of months that he's just decided to start sleeping on the platform with me every night, but I love it. I love it. I'm like that mom when the kid grows up and they don't ever want to like cuddle with them anymore. And then they finally do cuddle with them at one point and they're like crying because they miss when they were young and cuddly. It's like me with Blue. He finally wants to hang out with me again, so. I'm not complaining. Are you eating your feet? Can you not do that on my bed? <laughs> the audacity. It's because you're a male. All right, you want to swap places for a sec, Blue? It's like he speaks English. All right, come down here. Come here. Literally, how did you do this with the sleeping bag? You're very talented. Ooh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sent Blue flying. I didn't, I'm sorry, Bubby. I didn't mean to push you. I lost my balance. Look at my cuddle bug. Aww. I'm so glad we cuddle now, Blue. I'm like the least cuddly person in real life. Like, I hate being touched. <laughs> and my mom will tell stories about how when I was a kid she used to try to rock me to sleep and like cuddle with me and stuff and I would just keep sitting up when she was trying to cuddle cuddle me and like was kind of like get away from me and then she said she would put me in my crib and I would just roll over and go to sleep and just sleep for like 10 hours so I guess my entire point is that um I've never been cuddly even as a baby so <laughs> Blue's like the only one I'm okay with. Yeah, I love cuddling you because you're my kid. We have to wake up in three or four hours. I think my alarm is set for 7.30. So. Early wake up call. Let's fix this sleep schedule, hey? Alright. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.